everyone, today I'm going to be replacing my standard 12 volt dash cam with one that's been built in for my Mercedes EQB car. So this can be purchased from Amazon. I'll leave a link to this in the description. Of course, you could probably get this from other retailers too, but customer service from every witness has been absolutely excellent. And uh, you probably want something like this in order to get really good quality service, just to make sure that you buy the exact correct model. Because if you go online and do this, you might not get the right one. And that's like quite a major issue, especially because the way that this works is that this is dash cam which feeds into the the rain sensor power and uh, replaces the exact housing of the original rear view mirror cover so you want one that is exactly matched to your model and this might change year by year so that's why going through something like OE when it's going through Amazon is very reliable because you have that customer service what's been really good as well is that when I actually made the order through Amazon OE witness uh, Google Saf actually called me um, very nice sounding Man, and he asked me to take photographs of my car just to make sure that I had the exact correct model before they actually sent it out. So customer service is very good. You can WhatsApp them directly. You can see the number here if you want to message them directly and they can tell you whether this particular dash cam is going to work for you. So mine is an EQB, which uh, didn't come with a dash cam to begin with. So I didn't want to pay for the trim which had that, uh, which would have cost thousands of pounds more. This thing is relatively cheap to actually set up and we have full-time recording and you know no trailing wires or anything from the standard dash cam that you might install from the uh, the cigarette lighter the 12 volt cigarette lighter so definitely going to be a huge improvement with this uh, I can get rid of this whole bundle of wires this whole system here this is going to be way better anyway let me show you how this works so here we're going to be looking at the OE witness 4k ultra HD dash cam is the box Oh, we witness vision to provide a high quality dash cam solution to vision engineer to vehicle specific style design. So basically this has been designed for my EQB. So let's have a look at what is inside. So opening up the box, basically here, it's actually packaged quite professionally. So on the left side we have plastic spudger. We have a micro USB reader. So we can insert a micro USB card there. Then we have the kind of Y cable splitter. So this is going to power the dash cam and it's going to power the front part. So we're going to take power here, power dash cam, and then power whatever sensor is in the front. And then let's look at the rest of this. We've got our user manual here. We have an app. So this uses the video app. We have our indicator lights, disclaimer, etc. So we can also connect to Wi-Fi as well, installation. So we can watch a installation tutorial video. And then once we have the camera set up, then we can also connect to it via Wi-Fi. So it's not Bluetooth. So you have to connect to it via like a Wi-Fi hotspot. So basically we have our warranty information at the back as well as an FAQ. So let's have a look at the device itself. So we've got our box here. So nicely bubble wrapped. And then this is our kind of plastic replacement housing. And then we have, we've got power button, camera button. We have a micro SD already installed. So this is a, a Kioxia Xeria 64 gigabyte micro SD card. That pops in there. Let me just drop here. Oh, this is a camera cover. So this is our 4K camera. It's gonna use this to install. So this is gonna replace the, the section under our mirror, the housing there, our rear view mirror, and uh, we'll install this. The housing for the rear view mirror that we're gonna be replacing and uh, the power for the camera comes from the rain sensor apparently and uh, we're just going to use this tragic plastic spudger that's been included in order to pull this off so i'm doing this for the very first time i watched the instructional video on the website and basically what i do is just pull this down that's actually quite easy so i don't know if you saw that very clearly but we can just um pull this side bit off so i'm just gonna use this uh to pull the housing down.
So uh, there was a middle bit which I disconnected to. And uh, you can see these two parts are basically... So one thing I need to do is remove this in order to get this on. So, so these tabs can be removed, so I've taken this off. So now I can go ahead and um, connect this up before I fit this in. So here I'm just going to connect up the wiring for this. So there's basically this power cable here, but we're going to wire up using the what I believe is the rain sensor and this wire splitter cable. So let's give this a go now. So this power comes from the car here. So it's going to pull out this white cable. Maybe we'll use the spodger to do this. So there's a little latch there, I can see here. That pulls down so I can pull out the socket. Then we want to put in the Y cable into this here. So that, that cable um, is going to continue to power the rain sensor. So that slots in like that. And then this goes into our dash cam to power it. So let's just line this up. And then that, that connection's now been made. And then I guess we just uh, put it all back together. So I'm just going to make sure that this Y cabling is not in the way. So that, that did take a bit of effort to slot in. Then uh, we just have this little slot here to slot the back. And then that's now fully clipped in. So, okay, that's interesting. We have a, uh, a dash cam here now with this 4K thing. And we have the SD card right there. And so let's try and connect up to this and see how this goes. So let's, let's power up. The car. So you know, what we're going to do now is um, add an app now and uh, we downloaded the app called Video Ray and uh, I'm going to add the camera now. So I've got the camera app here, we'll add, press add camera, then um, press next, allow us to add Bluetooth devices, add. So by default this is a Wi-Fi camera so what we want to do is go to Wi-Fi and then find the uh, the camera here so is this one car cam press join and it says that the password is one two three four five six seven eight press join we want to get to a car cam and then add camera okay so we have our camera now we can access the camera and here we go we are connected up so this has to be done through Wi-Fi. So there's no Bluetooth option here. So now we have a live view. So I've got, I can see my, my finger here. We're moving and uh, we can see the live view of the car. So it looks like it's slightly off center, but we've got a really nice wide angle view here. So we're actually okay. So we can, let's have a look at the settings. So it records at 1440p. This could also record at 4K. We could do sound recording or not, that's an option. Loop recording, timestamps, collision. We've got, uh, let's do collision sensing. Okay, and then we have our passwords here. We can change the Wi Fi name, etc. We have that 64 gigabytes of storage space. And then that's pretty good. So let's reconnect. So um, we can download files here. Okay, so these are all of the files that have been created so far. Yeah, that's pretty good. So I'm just going to show you what the recorded footage looks like. So this is March. It's kind of near sunset. Uh, it's still daylight, but uh, the actual you know resolution is pretty good. It's clear. It does move around, of course, with the car moving around. Um, there doesn't seem to be that much stabilization, but it's clear enough so that you can actually read number plates and get enough detail. Uh, I think it's going up 4K at 30 FPS, which isn't too bad. This is what it looks like at night. So this is evening time, completely dark in a city. So this is London and uh, we're getting pretty good like visual performance. You can see enough detail, license plates, etc. Seems to be fine. Not too much reflection of the interior itself. 
The recordings are all looped and you can grab them from the app. Basically, they come in like 140 megabyte chunks. So you can just download them onto your phone if you wanted to just by making an ad hoc Wi-Fi connection. And I've been using this for several months now and haven't had any issue at all getting those recordings off the device. Overall, highly recommend getting this from OE Witness. I am aware that there are OEM manufacturers you can get maybe cheaper versions of this on say AliExpress or something like that. But if you want the peace of mind, then OE Witness is definitely a good solution. Anyway, that's how I set up a dash cam for the Mercedes EQB. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.